Last year, the Christmas celebrations um, were in disarray, weren't they? Therefore, this year, we are happy that uh, we could come together and uh, celebrate uh, the Christmas, uh, though some of the parishioners uh, have been apprehensive of uh, crowding. A couple of uh, times after the carols and uh, the Christmas Vigil Mass, New South Wales uh, Health uh, Department uh, informed me that uh, there were uh, some cases, or at least one person visiting uh, our premises uh, with the COVID. But um, they also said, uh, let's clean the premises and uh, carry on the business, as they call it. Uh, so it was not to be much of a concern. I myself went and had a few checks um, uh, to make sure I'm not causing any danger to any one of uh, my parishioners, and they all came negative. I believe there are two factors, um, the high vaccination rate and the mildness of the variant spreading now. Um, because of uh, these two factors, um, this is my personal opinion, the COVID is here on its way out. So if you believe me, then uh, it's uh, good news. In any case, uh, let us reclaim the usual routine of life uh, as much as uh, we can, in, a, in any case. The season of Christmas, in a way, is continuing for us. Uh, we had the octave of uh, Christmas, uh, which is uh, meant to be the continuing celebration of Christmas. Today, as we celebrate this uh, epiphany, I would say it is another Christmas we are uh, celebrating. The term epiphany means uh, manifestation of our God. Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 12, which we just now proclaimed as the gospel for the mass, is about finding child Jesus in Bethlehem as a God incarnate by the wise men. The search in Jerusalem and in the palace of King Herod for the newborn king of the Jews was futile. The Magi had to follow the star of divine guidance to the poor manger in uh, Bethlehem to meet um, God incarnate. That was uh, baby Jesus. It was the star, the symbol of God's fidelity. Sorry for that. I think I had to change the policy with our uh, Call Lindy. The, the star was the symbol of God's fidelity to his people through King David that led the Magi to their God experience. The Magi from the East uh, represent the uh, gentle, Gentile world uh, who were uh, not part of the people of God the Israelites. Matthew is well versed in the uh, Bible. That means when he narrates uh, this uh, infancy narrative and the, uh, what we call uh, the epiphany or manifestation of God in child Jesus, he uses a lot of uh, Old Testament uh, uh, references. Some of them are explicit, some are not that explicit, implicit and a lot of uh, symbolism is also employed. And knowing this will help us to meditate uh, on uh, the gospel passage we just now proclaimed, to read and understand and uh, meditate on it. 
Now meditate on the following points now. The Magi came to Bethlehem bearing gifts. What are the precious gifts you are bearing uh, to God? Selfish, selfishly keeping their God-given talents to yourselves is not the way to pay homage to God's manifestation. What is a star, the vision or purpose which lights up your life journey? What are the clouds that they have obscured your star, your vision, your hope? Who or what might be a road for you now? That means uh, what forces within or without could uh, subvert uh, your uh, dream or your purpose. The Magi, after paying homage to child Jesus, went home another way, distancing themselves from the evil King Herod. Your, your God experience also will make you leave the ungodly ways of the past and to follow a new way of life from now on. Have we met Jesus in the fragility of the world today? Have you commenced a new way forward in this uh, new year, 2022?